Hey, what's up guys? It's your girl Daisy, the hostess with the mostess, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, you should definitely consider subscribing because I got a lot of stuff that I plan to do this year and you don't want to miss a thing. So today is the first uh, video in a series of vlogs that I plan on doing and it's based on what activities we're currently doing in the age of Corona. To be told, we've been doing our own what we call Corona cuts at home. We bought one of these, I actually bought him a new one for Christmas uh, because my son-in-law took his back. But uh, yeah, that's how we've been doing it and I've been curious as to if you guys are like doing the same thing. In the meantime, this is how we've been taking care of our needs at home. No plug for L'Oreal, but this is what I do to color my hair. But uh, you know, it's still scary out there and until I figure out how I'm gonna do this and stay safe, this is what's worked for us. I feel better looking in the camera instead of looking like this, right? Next time I f switch this on, you'll see my, my cut and my color all done in the comfort and safety of my own home. Let me show you how uh, we do our Corona cuts in the age of COVID. So this is the finished product guys, it looks pretty good, right? Almost better than going to the damn barber. But you know, hubby still likes to go to the barber, so what can I tell you? But uh, are you happy with the way the machine works? Good? Okay, so we have a happy camper here. Okay, next victim, I'm next. Yeah, that's it. That was his Christmas present, and this is what we've been using for a better part of eight months. Um, and it definitely works, so next victim. Okay, so my daughter just finished lining me all up here to the best of her ability. And it's just like a quick, like a, like a fade that I do. And then, you know, then I gotta go ahead and do that L'Oreal preference because the grays have just been vicious. See how nice it looks guys? Yeah, just a nice clean fade and lineup. Yeah. Now I'm off to go and color my hair. Cause this gray, you know, all of this, gotta go. So we'll be back after I color it. Okay guys, so I am done. And as you can see, 
that L'Oreal color stuff works absolutely wonders. What can I tell you? I mean, you know, magic in a bottle. As you can see, once my daughter trims all of this back, and I used to do it so that with my hairstylist, you know, she would basically bring it like really, really cropped up here. But you know, Jada doesn't really have, you know, she's a nurse, she doesn't have uh, hair cutting skills, so my hair has really, really gotten long. But uh, this is the way we've been doing it for the past, you know, going on about a year now, because we started doing this back in March. We'll eventually go back and see my girl. I mean, I think now that the vaccine is here, and uh, I'm still thinking about that because I'm one of these that I don't even take a flu shot, but that's another video. But I guess I am going to have to line up for the vaccine when it becomes available. I've already spoken to my doctor about it, and he says, look, he already took it as a healthcare professional. My daughter, the nurse, already took it. So eventually, you know what, guys, if we want to start doing things again, we may just have to, like, bite, you know, bite the bullet and go ahead and take this vaccine. But, uh, you know, I'm waiting. It's still not readily available. I think they're only doing uh, healthcare professionals and then uh, senior citizens. They got, like, a whole type of pyramid thing where, you know, my doctor said it may be almost the summertime before I'm eligible to get the, uh, the vaccine. Now, I heard Joe Biden the other day stating that he was going to throw a whole bunch of money, you know, the state's way so they can start hurrying up with this vaccine stuff, but we shall see. But anyway, in the comments, let me know what you guys are doing. You know, are you venturing out? Are you doing the dentist? Are you doing, you know, the hair salon? You know, what activities have you stopped doing and are you going to resume doing? Now that things seem to be getting a little bit more under control, so they say, I mean, we shall see. It's the, this is the new world. I mean, let's face it, you know, we're going to have to get, always have our mask on and, you know, walk around with hand sanitizer and gloves. And, you know, if you want to keep safe and alive, that's some of the sacrifices we're going to have to make until we can figure this thing out. So, with that being said, I will see you guys in the next series uh, on life in the age of COVID. See you soon. Ciao.